long have you two been playing music together? 20 minutes. <laughs> Not tonight. Not I mean, ge- generally. Oh, right. Okay. Um, in general. When in general. Since about mean? 19... Um, 19 well, we met at Dave, Dave's studio. Uh, I was with 2020 and Simon was with... Himself. Talk, talk. And um, Mark Hollis threw him out. And, this is not true, everyone. Uh, yeah, thank God. And uh, <laughs> so Simon became a uh, solo sort of talk, talk tribute band. <laughs> that and, is uh, called, true. Called Talk. <laughs> I thought that was so pretty. about 1992, about 1991, 92, I'd say. So what's that? It's 30 years. But we uh, played, started playing in bands around about 1994. What was That's it like a, back then on the scene? Then on the Isle of Man. Um, well, the colour side was crazy. You know, uh, 94, 95, we were playing two or three nights a week. Uh, there was the corporate gigs at for, for banks and stuff like that. But uh, and they had uh, the office and the anchor down at Port Sodrick. Um, but and then yeah, the traff as well. Busy day. The traff, yeah, the traff, yeah, yeah, no, there's, yeah. there's a. Great... Iron Pier, eventually yeah, in Pier. Ramsey, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Creek and Peel, loads yeah. of places. And, yeah. um, and they were well supported now. as well, weren't they? They were. And uh, then we moved to London, we were playing in, in um, London venues as well, doing uh, sound, uh, showcase nights. And yeah. came back to the Isle of Man. So, yeah, but, so I think we were playing pretty much since about not the early 90s. How, how close did you get when you went to London then? To, to, or did you want to actually sort of go, right, we're going to be huge, we're going to be famous now, or did you just, just do it for the crack? I think it was a bit of both. Really. I didn't really hear huge and famous, so I think you just wanted to have a chance, really. Yeah. This is the days before interweb, so you couldn't post out music or anything like that, so you're still using cassettes. So the only way to do it was to follow the yellow brick road down to London. Yeah. And then you, you followed on, didn't you? You, you didn't come first. <coughs> Yeah, and we, 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 we went to London. Or something. We, we went to London with the idea of um, being in a place where you're going to get more, uh, you know, sort of exposure. And ironically, it wasn't until we came back to Isle of Man that we got uh, a Josh Rouse tour in the UK and uh, Guildfest and uh, Radio Two. Janice Long. Janice Long uh, oh, session Radio Two. Lovely Janice. And and Bob Harris starts playing our songs on his show. And that's when we returned to the Isle of Man, and it was just uh, literally at the, uh, the very start of the sort of uh, in- internet uh, downloading downloading world, where we had a website, we you know, had a, 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 a band page you can go to, to to download our songs. So, yeah, we play we play in Janice Long uh, session in in uh, Radio Two uh, just after we returned back to the Isle of Man. So that was all a bit ironic. After oh. having gone to London for six years. What, sort of what an incredible experience, though. Oh, it yeah. was a great experience. No doubt about it, it was a great experience. And you it. just keep on churning out gorgeous music. I mean, it's just beautiful stuff. And you've been working on this this new album. This is three, is it? Album three? Yeah, album yeah. three. Yeah. Album yeah. three. Um, and it's called Silverdale. Yeah. This is because you love Silverdale, Simon. Mm-hmm. Well, it's all, all the songs are written in Silverdale. They've had the, from, from, its, from, from the very start, the very first song, which was the only one came out the last album had a bit of rest and then it just started to form and I was just in Silverdale all the time I thought well kind of like it's a very tenuous kind of concept but it's my kind of concept so well you're, you the, the album titles the song titles always have a very visual kind of theme to them don't they I think and that as well Silverdale has got a real sort of poetry and visual nature to it I think maybe yeah yeah like well I love playing with words yeah so that's you know, if you write a song called Hold On, it doesn't kind of fix for me. You need also, I think Silverdale is, is one of those places that you, you're drawn to from your childhood. Nostalgia, yeah. Nostalgia is a nostalgic feel. We always, me and Simon, love the music of the sort of mid to late 70s. Um, sort of Carpenters and you sort of, you know, Alessi Brothers and all that sort of stuff. So when you look at, uh, looking up at sort of trees with sunlight sort of coming through it in, in a, in the 70s fairground sort of situation like Silverdale that's our childhood that's our memories yeah. that's what it's very true we yeah. sort of hark back to which is what a lot of, you know a lot of the inspiration comes from so it's a very personal album really and uh, you have a new single out it's called From the Shadows we're going to hear it now uh, tell us a bit about it Simon um, <clears throat> this was a, a this was a late uh, late one coming in we actually I think this was, we only finished this about two months ago but we thought it was very very strong we had another one issue, but with this, this came in out of nowhere. But this is—I'm um, not really going to talk about it. But it's—it's—it it says what it is, really. 
It's, it, I, I'm intrigued by the fact it says it has darker undertones yes. in your press release. Yes. Which is interesting yes. from you guys. So 